people are saying that, that Mitch is almost impossible to beat right now. Mitch, in my eyes at the moment, is unbeatable. Untouchable. One of the best of all time. I don't even think Hafter Bjornsson can beat I, I think he is bulletproof at the moment. He has zero weaknesses. You can't find a weakness with him. So consistent. Other than that, second place at World's Strongest Man, he's won absolutely everything. Winning everything, like, you know, dominating everything. I've won the last seven of eight shows. Yeah. The reality is, based on results, Strongman is not the most competitive thing in the world at the moment. Tom currently doesn't look like he's at his best. I don't understand Tom. It doesn't look World's Strongest Man quality. He clearly wasn't himself in Vegas. It seems like uh, he's becoming one trick World's Strongest Man pony. It's just outside of World's Strongest Man there seems to be some kind of disconnect. Stop competing in uh, all these other competitions. He needs a bit of time to focus on him. There's no point. Be the next Mr. Yeah, World's Yeah, you, you seemingly you, you, you can peak only once a year. Rogue, we'll see what's going to happen in Rogue. We're going to have to see a version of Tom that we haven't seen before. At the moment, Mitch is just on his own level. It's been a really hard three weeks. Shane said to me, are you okay to go back straight in on Monday? I need you to go back and train straight away. So that's what I did. And I've been training pretty much consistently every day. It feels good to be sore. It feels good to feel that pain. You know, I'm focused on my own voice inside my head. It's saying, don't f up. Of course, I'm excited for Rogue. I'm very, very happy with how training's going. I'm very happy with how the mindset is. And I'm very happy with how the body's feeling. I feel that people forget about Tom. Tom has to live with the pressure of being world's strongest man. Tom is the strongest man in the world. Tom goes from being like a, a little ember at the end of the fire. It's just, there's just enough there. And I see all these people saying stuff about Tom. Is he a one trick pony? Can he beat the unbeatable? Mitch is unbeatable, Mitch is this, Mitch is that. And yeah, Mitch is fantastic, of course he is. But when Tom has enough fuel, that ember will engulf everything. When you're a champion in a sport, that's when you get the most hate. People can talk, but I, I quite like it. Like, you know, the difference with Aaron as well is he likes to work in the shadows. A lot of coaches and stuff get stuck up in that. Oh, look, my client did 450 kilogram deadlift in training, but training's training at the end of the day. Let's see what you can do in competitions. And then that's when you can start speaking up. But yeah, me and Aaron are nice off the radar right now. He's coming up to Rogue Invitational. We're going to put on a show. And uh, I think people are going to be shocked at what we've done in three weeks' time, because three weeks ago, if Aaron said, the numbers I've been hitting right now, I'd have been like, Bill. I'm not really showing much, but to be honest, I don't really want to show much. I just like to go there on the first day, let half or let Hooper, let them boys and guys do the talking, and I'll just come as a assassin. I've always been dangerous when I'm not being talked about, so yeah, let social media do their thing, and let me rock being the best in the world, and let's keep proving it now. feel ready, you know, I know my body's ready, I know it's able to take a lot of abuse.
So that's what it's going to take. I'm going to abuse the f out of my body at Rogue and I'll still be smiling. That, my friend, is the beauty of Strongman. Being able to abuse your body time and time again and then stand up, smile, get your breath back, get ready for the next event and do it again. It's pretty cool, but a little bit f***ed up at the same time. <laughs> uh, but that's what we do. It beats, it beats being normal anyway, I think. The main thing in training is you have to enjoy it and you have to be motivated. It doesn't matter who you're training with, it doesn't matter the surroundings. It's still very, very important that we're able to get up and be accountable for ourselves. Luke there now is like that extra, you know, when you take a pre-workout, you feel buzzed. When Luke's in the gym with me, it's that extra buzz. <laughs> I just can love, I love competing with them. I love competing against them. I'm not with Luke for, I still have to be able to put as much effort into the gym as I am by myself. Those are the sessions that when we're in together, we need to go balls to the wall, we need to go over 100%. The ones we can't get it together for, we still need to give 100% and we still need to go to the, the max we can. But yeah, I just feel unbelievable in the gym right now. I just want to prove to myself that I should be invited. Like, there's no doubt in my head. And then whatever else happens after that, that is that is what it is. Yeah, I'm very excited. Me and Luke are excited. And uh, one more session for me to go, and then it's let's get the head down and get the job done.